I'm convinced, I'm I'm a hundred percent convinced that Pep Guardiola didn't want to win this. Seriously, Chelsea wanted this more, and it showed by Thomas Tuchel's team selection and the way they were set up and the way they went out there and the way they won the game. One goal to nil Chelsea courtesy of a 55th minute goal by Hakim Ziyech, and it was a flat performance by City. It was a flat performance. And it, it was a weird 11 once again. Eight changes made to the team that started against Dortmund. Like, really? Really, Pep? This thing is a joke thing, right? This got to be a joke thing. I know it's a cup, you know, but it's a semi-final. You know what I'm saying? Look at how look at how Tuchel and his team showed intent and look at the 11 that they put out. You see what I mean? Kepa, you know, is a better keeper than, than, than Zach Steffen. You know what I'm saying? Look at the money he came in for. Look at look at Stefan. Even though Stefan is the American international and, I, and everything, America number one, I, I'll still put Kepa above um, Zach Stefan. And I spoke about this yesterday in my live stream. And I said, I don't care how much it hurts morale or disrupts the, you know, the FA Cup team or whatnot. I'm playing Edison. I'm playing Edison. You see what I mean? I'm playing Edison. Stefan would have to under, understand because Pep did this in the past. Pep did this in the past where, you know, he had a young keeper. I think it was uh, Murich. And then when we got to the more serious games, he played Edison. You see what I'm saying? So when I saw the 11 and, and, and once you see an 11 and there's Mandy in there and then there's Ferran Torres and then there's Sterling who, and these guys, and I'm mentioning these guys. Because they have not been in form. And that's the reason why I'm mentioning these guys. I know the Bruyne played, but he had to hobble off injured. You know, seems like he tweaked something, and that's not a good sign at all. Seeing that we have the Carabao Cup final against Spurs coming up, what is it, next weekend. And we got the um, Champions League semi-final against PSG. That's not a good thing. But I don't know what Pep's thinking, to be honest. I don't know if he's thinking about just keeping the squad fresh. By making any changes from the game against Dortmund, uh, or if he's prioritizing the the Champions League, or if he just want to see off the league title, I don't know seriously. But you know, I think who knows? Maybe it's to relieve some pressure of that whole quadruple talk. You know, no more quadruple. It's gone. It is gone. Or maybe I'm not giving Chelsea enough credit. Maybe that's what it is. But Chelsea do deserve the credit for showing intent. Tuchel only made three changes from the 11 that played against Porto. You see what I'm saying? Um, Kepa is one of them and maybe a couple guys, maybe Ziyech and another guy who played up top. You know, also, I, I, I can't pinpoint who, you know, I can't remember who played in the Champions League or not. But they put out an 11 that looked like it was an 11 for a Champions League final. That's how strong their 11 look comparing to our 11. And some people may not agree. Some people may say, oh, City's depth is so, you know, tremendous that, and it, you know, that you could put out any 11. No, you can't. You can't. In this game, you play Edison, you play Walker, you play Cancelo or Zinchenko, but I play Cancelo. You see what I mean? Laporte Diaz. Why are you going set up with two defensive midfielders in Rodri and Fernandinho? That's the whole negative thinking right there. You see what I'm saying? That's a negative mentality right there, you know what I mean? And I don't understand why he went in like that. Then we're, we're in a point in the game where we actually need the goal. You made the changes, brought on Gundogan, you brought on Foden, right? Foden's change was forced. You have five available subs. You have Mares on the bench. You have Bernardo. You have other players who you could actually bring on to affect the game. Kyle Walker, take Mendy off the field, who has been garbage in the game. But Pep, what he does? Nothing. You see what I'm saying? So Chelsea, they went out there and they played well. They deserved the game. You see what I'm saying? And don't don't get me started on the goal there. Do not get me started on the goal. I don't know what Zach Steffen was thinking. Do not know what he was thinking. Found himself in no man's land. But he did make amends for it where Ziyech should have scored too. So it's probably Ziyech's fault that he didn't score. Z good save by Stefan, but overall a poor performance. You, you see what I'm saying? Overall, a very, very poor performance. And I, I'm disappointed. I'm very, very disappointed. I wanted the FA Cup. I, I don't know about you, but I wanted the FA Cup to play one of Leicester or Southampton. I don't know about you, but now it would be Chelsea and Tuchel. 
congratulations to them. But um, Pep, man, you know, it's the same thing against Leeds where we made a whole lot of changes. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I know it's hard for the team that way in all competitions still, and you gotta freshen things up. But still, man, still, these are the things that are affecting the 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 the, the, the progress. The overthinking, it's coming again. And don't tell me we're going to play the Champions League or let's say even the Carabao Cup and allow Spurs to beat us and then allow PSG to beat us. You see what I mean? And then we have the league and then we're going to make it a tense finish to the season. You see what I mean? So I'm, I'm highly annoyed and I'm highly pissed off. I wanted the, the final, but it is Chelsea who gets it. You know, kudos to them. They played better. They had a better plan. They sat back. They made it hard for us to cut apart their defense and, you know what I mean, they got their goal. You see what I mean? They, they, were, they were hardly going forward. And this is, how, this is how we get beaten every single time. That's how we get beaten every single time. Just the same way. We get beaten the same way every single time. The formula is out there. It's out there. It's out there. How to beat Man City? Just watch the Leeds game. Just watch the games against Wolves. Just watch when we lost games, man. And, and the formula is there. The blueprint is there. For every single loss. It's the same thing. All of them. All. But anyways, man. This is just my quick thoughts. You know what I mean? Gotta drop the wife to work. And, you know, see the boy Liam in the back there. But um, congratulations to Chelsea once again. And Tuchel, man. Um, you know. A little complacency was creeping into their squad. They even, um, you know, lost against West Brom. They lost to Porto. But, of course, we can't beat them. You see what I'm saying? Of course, of course. Of course, we can't beat them. The so-called most informed team in Europe, we can't beat them. Because why? We're making eight changes. We're making, we're choosing to, to change eight. Eight players. You see what I'm saying? Why? Why is it necessary to do that? In a semi-final. No, 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 Pep, 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 you, I got to hold you accountable for this one. You know, you keep putting out these bum teams, and that's why we're getting bum results. And I got to talk to Sterling, man. Sterling, Sterling, I need to talk to you, bro. I don't know what is going on with you. I don't know. Listen, man, I don't know if you're having girl problems or something, but you ain't playing well. You see what I mean? Mendy, you got to go. Seriously, you had some... Decent games where you even scored a, a goal or, you know what I mean, or you play well. But you got to go. You got to go. Not playing. You know? And I want to see. I really want to see if Pep Guardiola is going to play Zach Steffen in the Carabao Cup final. You know what I mean? Because what he did there, it's unacceptable. Come on. It's unacceptable. I could picture him doing something like that for the USA and probably um, causing them not to qualify for the 2022 World Cup. Listen, man, it's unforgivable mistakes. I'm not going to be easy. We lost. But Chelsea, well done. Guys, that's my thoughts, man. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video if you like it. And from your boy, Dominic Rich. Liam Rich. Tannis Rich. <laughs> Peace out. Rich. Squad. Peace.